Okay, so what I'm gonna show you in this video is how you can get your Xbox Series X or even PlayStation 5 set up so that you can have your uh, optical out audio working with whatever amplifier, DAC or headphones or whatever system that you use. Now, the biggest issue at the moment is uh, finding a HDMI audio extractor that will give you a toss link out and having that work with whatever frame rate and resolution you are using. I personally have 1440p set up on my Xbox with 120 hertz. This comes under the HDMI 2.0 bandwidth spec. There's a lot of confusion, there's a lot of people saying that uh, HDMI 2.0 does not support 1440p at 120 hertz. It does because I have two devices that are HDMI 2.0 spec and they allow 1440p at 120 hertz. So with that out the way, what it does not support is 4K at 120 hertz. Okay, HDMI 2.0 will support 4K at 60 hertz or 60 frames per second, but it will not support any higher refresh rate than that. Another issue that you might find is wanting to record your gameplay um, or, or stream your footage just like I do. I have the Ava Media Live Game of 4K, which allows 4K 60 hertz recording, uh, but I only use it for uh, 1440p, 120 hertz, or even 60, depending on what I'm doing. Now again, this whole setup, I have managed to get working, so I'm gonna go into detail on every aspect of it. It will allow you to have your own headphones that you want to use uh, on the Xbox or the PlayStation. You can record your game footage. You can record audio separate uh, from your uh, game if you really wanted to. And then you can also introduce your own voice, such as having a microphone uh, attached. So you can, again, separate the audio, change the levels uh, for better quality streaming. So the device that I purchased is kind of like a, a no brand. Uh, you'll find a lot of these on Amazon, but the main thing that you want to look for is that it is certified to do HDMI 2.0. If it says 4K 30, it is not HDMI 2.0. If it says 4K 60, it is HDMI 2.0. But again, you're gonna have to go into the specifications and make sure that in the bandwidth section, it says 18 gigabits per second. That will give you enough bandwidth in order to be able to run a HDMI signal of 4K 60 uh, frames per second, as well as 1440p at 120 frames per second. HDMI 2.0, 18 gigabits per second bandwidth will allow you to do these resolutions. Now, I'm going to put a diagram up on the screen. Um, it's probably quite complicated and a lot going on, but hopefully this will give you a visual idea of exactly where um, video signals go, audio signals go, uh, and so on, just so you can see how I have it set up. So I actually have my Xbox Series X. HDMI comes out of that. It goes into my AVA Media Capture Card, of which I then obviously have set up to record 1440p at 120 or 60 or whatever it is I'm recording. The out from that because it's a pass through and obviously you need to be then be able to then see your gameplay on the screen the hdmi out that comes out from there then goes into this splitter from the splitter i then have a third hdmi cable that goes into the back of my screen and then a toss link cable that comes out of the splitter and then goes into my go xlr mini from here i can then obviously route that audio into my headphones, and then the gameplay will be up on the screen, and there'll be no latency, no issues there at all. Now, obviously, this means I cannot use my Steel Series Arctis 9X, which would obviously then allow me to hear gameplay audio as well as being in a party. Now, to get around this, if you use the Microsoft uh, Xbox app on the PC, you can join parties from your computer. So that's what I've now switched to. Whenever I join a party, I have my microphone that I have linked into my GoXLR that then feeds my voice into the party chat. 
and then just having system audio coming out of my computer, I can then hear the uh, party chat from other people. That then gets mixed in with the game audio, which is obviously all controlled and balanced using the Go XLR. So the main thing is when you're looking for the HDMI audio extractor, make sure you find one that has 2.0 HDMI spec and HDCP 2.2, um, as well as making sure that the bandwidth that it's rated for is at least 18 gigabits per second. And this will allow you to do any resolution apart from 4K 120 hertz on the Series X or PlayStation 5.